Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn how to add signal wire as a trunk or as a carrier to Fusion PBX. Fusion PBX is a GUI that works on the top of the free switch and makes our life much more easier with the uh, features that it provides uh, through the UI, through the graphical user interface. It's much more easier to configure your PBX and your free switch system. This is a uh, Patreon only video that uh, we release later in my YouTube channel as well. So thanks to my Patreon users for supporting uh, my channel and also this uh, specific video. Let's go to work. For the signal wire, uh, first we need to create a login to your signal wire account. This is a provider if you are not familiar with. I have multiple videos on how to uh, trunk the signal wire to free switch or fusion PBX. And this is uh, another video, I think uh, you should be familiar with this trunk provider. The first step is to create a SIP account. So uh, go to your SIP and then click new. I already have for my test visitor system, but here we want to add it to Fusion PBX. So go to your SIP, click new, and give it a name. I want to give the name Fusion PBX. Give it a secure password. Definitely not what I'm doing here, but okay. Just give it a secure password. Then uh, send us, if you already bought a, a phone number, you should have it. So if I just bought a US number, so I just click plus and then my purchase number will appear here. That's it. So just username, password, re-enter the password and send us and save it. Uh, then go to phone numbers. If you did not purchase a phone number, it's very easy, just click on the new, choose a phone number and click buy. Then you have the phone number as I have it here. Click on the phone number, click edit settings and then uh, go to your handle call using SIP endpoint and here you should have your SIP endpoint so let's we called it Fusion PBX right so if you just search for Fusion PBX you should already have it this is just for the incoming call for outgoing we don't need uh, these settings but uh, yeah we want to receive incoming calls as well so select Fusion PBX this is your SIP user that you have added in the previous step and save it that's great. Our SIP trunk is provided. Our incoming calls are routed as well. Then log into your Fusion, Fusion PBX. Uh, go to accounts. Go to gateways. So Fusion PBX, log into Fusion PBX as admin or super admin or whatever user that have access to the accounts. Go to the accounts, select gateway, add. Uh, give it a gateway name. Let's name it Signal Wire. Username. Username, what we have used here was Fusion PBX. So our username is Fusion PBX. Enter the password that you have password here. If you forgot, of course, you can change it. I entered Fusion PBX as my password as well. Not a good idea. Don't do that. Uh, set a secure password this is just for this video from user it's your username again from domain is this a string so after at whatever you see here you can copy and paste here proxy again the same real realm again the same so all three from domain proxy and realm set the same ip Advanced, you really don't need to change it. Context public, profile external. I think you already know what are they. They are the profile C profiles that we want to use. And also the context for the incoming calls. And the description, just name it signal wire. And save it. So you should wait for a second. This state should go to registered. So we need to wait for a second. As you can see, it's regged. You can just wait. I just click on it. But when it is 
R-E-G-E-D, it means that it's already registered. How you can verify if you go here to your SIP, you can see here last registration less than a minute ago because we just registered. This is shows how this is shows that uh, this shows that our trunk is already registered. That's it. The trunk is registered. It's very easy to actually configure the signal wire here. Then we need to send our calls out. So go to the dial plan, outbound routes, click add, and before that, register a, a soft phone in your system so that you can do it for testing. I already registered an extension 1001 in my internal system. This is a system that I installed in my Proxmox. So uh, just register the phone. I'm not going to that stage. I think you already know how to do that. And then uh, select the gateway. Let's select the gateway as a signal wire. We don't have any alternative gateway here. Uh, dial plan, I want to fix it to one a specific number. Of course, you can put whatever number that you want. I will enter my number here. So this is uh, the only number that I want to call. We don't need to set a prefix. It's really up to you. How do you want to send your calls out? And we enable it. And then we give it a name. Let's a description. Let's name it signal wire again. So we just put the gateway, the dull plan, and also the description. And then we click save. It will all, it will automatically create uh, outbound routes here for you. What you need to do is just click on the signal wire. Uh, you can see how it defines actually if you should really know free switch to understand uh, what are all of these ones. So I have a video list on free switch. You need to go through that and then you will understand what do they mean. But for the configuration, there is one point. Signal wire when you want to send call out, you need to add a plus to it. So if in your destination number, if you're, if you're in your pattern, you don't have a plus. So for example, if I want to call out, uh, I want to enter my phone number without plus. Usually the users, because if it's a soft phone, it's fine. But if it is not a soft phone, then there is a problem. So this is my number and I want to call out, but I don't have any plus in front. So and I want the system automatically add this plus. So go to the bridge. Uh, whatever you see before this dollar one, just add a plus. So add a plus after a slash and before dollars one. These dollars ones will take whatever you have in your destination number and will put it here. So it will send to our Sophia gateway. This is our signal wire that automatically uh, converted actually to a unique ID. And what we need to do, just add a plus. This will help us that if we call the number without plus, it will add a plus at the end. And then save it. That's it. We are good to go. Let's give it a try. So I will go to my Zoeper. I will call. As you can see, I'm not calling any plus in front. And then I'm calling. OK, it takes a little time. Let me show you. It, it didn't work right now. Let me show you how you can troubleshoot. SSH to your system with PuTTY or if you are in the Mac, just SSH. In install and run SNG rep. I have a video on how to work with it. If you don't know, just uh, go and watch that video. So let me just run the SNG rep. SNG rep will show you all the C packets and then call the number. So you can see we have sent an invite to Fusion PBX at omid our domain. Let's and it is rejected. So we have called, but it is rejected. Let's see what is the problem. If first we send an invite, okay, the invite is sent, but look at it. It sends plus dollar one at omid. Why? Because we had a mistake here. I forgot to add parenthesis, parenthesis here, so it should be like this one. Because this dollar one will get whatever we have in the parenthesis in our uh, destination number, destination number, and in our regular expression. So save it, 
and let's give it a try at the same time let's see what's going on so how did how did i uh saw the problem actually by adding the invite that we are sending to signal wire it's ask for authentication the authentication was successful we send the invite with the authentication it gives us welcome so the authentication was passed but it gives us not found because actually dollars one is not a valid uh, remote party we wanted to send plus and then our number not dollar one that's and why it was uh, happening and it was sending like that because i forgot the parentheses here so let's give it a try right now go to uh, sng rep as well and let's go to zoiper and then call again now you can send you can see the invite is sent and it sends the uh, right number and my phone ring here and i can hear it okay that's it that's how we can add signal wire as a carrier in our fusion pbx and how we can actually troubleshoot if we had a mistake with the sng rep and thank you for watching this video if you i had a I have a uh, poll in my uh, Patreon on what topics you are most interested in so that I know what to uh, create next. Uh, I appreciate if you take part in it and uh, put your idea there. Even the free users can take part uh, in this uh, poll so that I know uh, which video uh, I should more focus on. And if you want any specific video, then you can... Uh, send a private message to me and uh, I try to put it in my video list. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.